Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because we are going to be doing a Christmas reading vlog and we have a special guest. <laughs> Chris and I actually bought the same Christmas book at Target when they were doing their buy two, get one free? Yeah. They were doing that sale and we saw this and we both got it and Grace has actually already started it. And so she kind of encouraged me to pick this one up. I just, we're doing book miss, want to have a little Christmas reading vlog. So this is what I'm going to be reading. It's Home Sweet Christmas. Grace, how far are you? It's the 140 out of 380. So we're a third of the way. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. what do you think so far? Three out of five so far. Um, it's very cute. Like it's just like Christmas love. It started at Thanksgiving. Which oh is my interesting. Gosh, really? Yeah. Okay. So they just did Thanksgiving. Um, but it's cute. Okay. Yeah. Fun. Love it. So yeah, I, depending on like how the timeline of this video goes, so I'll get Grace's final thoughts as, as well as mine. But yeah, I'm just going to start this little reading vlog. We have a, this is how we spend our Friday nights. We play this fire up here <laughs> after watching the Sterniello. Yep. Okay. We watched one of their videos and then got strawberry refreshers from Starbucks. And then we've just been... <laughs> Uh, we did homework, Yeah. and then Grace has been reading, and I actually read a novella, but this is a Friday night vibe. We're wild. <laughs> we are so wild. We are living wild. This has been our Friday for like four weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had an off week last week because of Thanksgiving, but this is what college kids do, so. This is what my... so college kids do. <laughs> Get excited. Every single one of them. Every Don't single one of them. All of them. Yeah. Also, I'm wearing Christmas PJs right now. And Grace has Christmas socks. So, very festive up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. What? You want to know if I'm fertile? Yeah. Just like right off the bat. Okay, I'm enjoying it so far. It's fun. Okay. <laughs> I am now on about halfway through the book. It's really picking up. Um, it was pretty slow for a while, but now it. <laughs> but now it's so fun. Um, I woke up this morning and I was like, I want to read more of it, so that's a good sign. Um, but yeah, super cute. Love it. That's my update. I'm about 12% the way through, and I would agree it's slow. I feel like it's written kind of weird. Yeah. Not bad weird, but just, like, different. It, yeah. It takes a minute to get used to. And at some points, the there's one specific character. Oh, God. Where I'm, like, just whenever characters aren't, like, very different from me, I have trouble where I'm, like, why would you do that? Just cause I, yeah. Which one? What are you telling me? River. I knew it was going to be River. Yeah. I just, just had a feeling. Which, like, it's, she's, like, a good character, but just some of the things she does, I'm like, oh, my God, I would die in birth. I just, I like, that. when I finished last night reading it, because I haven't picked it up since last night, like, I already know. Yeah. I'm not going to like her that much. Yeah. <laughs> not, not like her, but, like. So, she's a hard character to read for, because I'm like, okay, I don't really, like, I wouldn't act the same way. Yeah. Um, but it's good, it's good to read. Differing. Differing. <laughs> yeah. Perspectives. <laughs> Also, I learned that this is a second book. Yes. 
Okay. Yeah. I was looking at Goodreads and I was like, whoa. But I don't think it's like an actual, like you have to read the series in order. I think it's just like, it's like the American roommate experience. Exactly. Exactly. Because the first book is about, what's his name? Jake? Jake's ex-fiance. Is it really? Yes. It's about Reggie? Reggie. Oh. Yeah. The This one. Because I looked at it. It's about Reggie and a guy, and then it's also about another character. Because it has the two love stories. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that's a little update. Anna's here, obviously, if you can tell. I have some good facial expressions in there. You can okay. Look at later. <laughs> good. I'm excited. <laughs> but, yeah, we're doing a little reading night again, so. Hey, everyone. I am going to be listening to an audiobook, so... I'm probably gonna maybe journal or something at the same time. Maybe like do color. I have oh, I have coloring page. I'm gonna color. Um, so I am reading kind of, but it's not a physical book. So if I look silly sitting here, while well, Aubrey and Grace are reading, that is why. But I am reading yeah. Love on the Brain. No, Love on the Brain. Yes. By Allie Hazelwood. I'm two paragraphs, um, two chapters in. It's good so far. Two paragraphs. Aubrey, what is what'd you get? Um, this is my Casey Musgraves Christmas album. Ah. She's one of my favorite Christmas people. I'm considering playing this right now. Do it. That's it. Honest, I haven't um done a I went to camera. <laughs> no. Cringe battle go. Do like the little like <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Can we do the cringe battle? No. <laughs> Not on camera. Um. <laughs> um. Mm. Well. <laughs> hmm. My. <laughs> I can't. What do they say? No. 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 <laughs> I hate the And I am an hour and 15 minutes into my book. Love. Okay. I'm filming a school project. A school project. Hey guys. My name's Aubrey. <laughs> and my name's Grace. And today we're going to be talking about Home Sweet Christmas. <laughs> By Susan Mallory. <laughs> For real though, I'm halfway through about. Or I think I am halfway through. I'm past Your 200. Your so. said exactly half, which I yeah. think is more than. Yeah, perfect. And so far, I'm enjoying it. You can see the romance is progressing. There seems to be something um, up with Dylan, like something fishy is happening there. I will say, I don't like necessarily mind River, but she's definitely, like, I prefer Cameron I over agree. River. Yeah. We just got the dog, Tinsel, <laughs> and Jake, like, bought, is it Jake or Jack? Jake. Jake. Jake bought the dog like five beds and I thought that was really cute. And <laughs> I was so annoyed by it because I was like, that is such a waste of money. It's so excessive. So excessive. But I'm like, he's rich. So that's like money true. is like that's nothing true. to him. Yeah. So to me that's like sweet. <laughs> yeah. When I was thinking of it, I was like, not necessarily that would make me so mad. It would make me mad too. Yeah. Probably. Like in real life. But like in this, I'm like, wow, he cares about that chihuahua so yeah. much. That long hair chihuahua. <laughs> Which, why that dog? <laughs> Ew! <laughs> long hair chihuahua? What the heck? In my head, I'm not picturing a long hair chihuahua. No. 
It's not. No. It's like a wiener dog. Or, <laughs> yeah. Or something big. It's I'm like, not sure. Like it's a golden like a, retriever, but not. It's not big in my head, but it's like cute. Like it's not like a scraggly little chihuahua. <laughs> anyways. Um, <laughs> anyways. Sorry for that tangent. Yeah, that's it. That's kind of like what I... Nothing has happened. I think... I think Jake and Cameron have kissed like very briefly and they have a date scheduled but the date hasn't happened yet and then River and um, Dylan it's like you can tell they like each other or maybe they did kiss at they like had to hide and the people were like looking for uh -huh. them I yep. think they did, they did kiss kissing. so they both have kissed now and so relationships are progressing so that's a little update where I'm at I'm at like 75 percent so i'm at page 300 um i won't spoil anything i just know what's up with J uh, dylan um and all the relationships have just progressed more i'm not too like <laughs> no, what's, spoiler, right? no what's okay. the what's the thing in a book where like it's good then it's bad then it's good third act breakup, third act breakup. i haven't seen any of that yet okay and you would be in the part where that's gonna happen yeah so maybe this is just a yeah. happy go romance. Or maybe No, something bad has to happen because yeah. of Dylan. Yeah. And Jake, because we know Jake has his whole like he's scared of commitment because of his dad. So yeah. there has to be something there. So I'm thinking I'm gonna come up on some because so far it's been good like smooth sailing. So I'm thinking I'm coming up on some issues soon. Yeah. So But it's exciting. We'll probably finish it either this weekend or early into the week. So Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's a little update. Guys, final review of home sweet christmas we both finished it yes and yeah okay i'll go first i rated it three stars i liked it i thought it was very cute i appreciated having two different romances because you get two two love stories in one book which is always fun because they were different setups yeah is that what i want to say mm -hmm. um i something that i didn't like as much the reason why it's just rated a basic three stars is i feel like the writing was very repetitive like we would hear the same statement over and over and over again yeah and that's just something that i noticed also there was like they would say something that's like unnatural that way us as readers would understand better so it'd be like say grace and i were f we are friends <laughs> say we were friends <laughs> grace and i are friends and in the book i said Aubrey said, hi Grace, my friend that I've known for three years. Like yeah. it, is stout, it, it would do that, which is fine because it's trying to give context to the reader, but it was just so yeah, unnatural. Yeah, say that. No. Um, which that's just a critique that like I'm looking to it, part into it. But overall, if you're looking for like a fun Christmassy romance, duo romance, um, I it's a it's a good pick probably won't be my top christmas book but i did enjoy it but dylan and his money did not understand that conflict at all i did not no. know why it was such a big deal no did not understand that that was my at biggest all. critique with it is that just some of the conflicts it's like this shouldn't have been an issue no nobody should have been upset no and i also didn't understand like when jake was telling can i respond Say that. Spo yeah, okay. this is spoilers. When Jake was telling Dylan, like, to not be mad at River because he, because she hired somebody to hack into his I'm bank like, account. No. I'm like, you can be mad about that. I'm like, it's, I would be, like, out of the two, him telling her that he is, like, a millionaire versus her hacking it, not her hacking, but, like, hiring, yeah. her hacking into. I feel like it shouldn't have been him begging for forgiveness. No, it should have been her. Yeah. Like, why, what about him having money makes him a bad guy? And why does it matter that much? I literally don't know. I don't know. That was, yeah, that was something I did not understand. Helen, favorite character. Loved her. She yeah. was so crazy that I loved her. I'm just Tinsel like, she- loved him. 
He was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Ten to with five beds. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But yeah. it was a fun little romance. And it, it was, was fun because Grace and I got to buddy read it. Yeah. Which is super fun. It was awesome. It's like a little book club. It is, mm -hmm. basically. But do you have any other thoughts? No, I just agree with you on everything. Three yeah. stars. It was cute. Very Christmassy. Um, yeah, I feel like it's a good, like, I feel like it's an especially good transitioning book because it started before Thanksgiving. Yes. And it ended, like, right at Christmas, on I think. Christmas, Christmas Day. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like the time frame that we're in right now is, like, perfect time to read it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yay. Okay, let us know if you guys are going to put this on your TBR. If you've already read it, let us know. And we will talk to you guys next time. Peace and love. Bye, guys.